before I start the video, I just want to share with you the technique or where I got it from. The CEO of Platinum Skincare, she made a video showing you, like literally demonstrating how to apply the TCA, and that's where I got it from. I will be posting a link to that video in the description box. And so if you want to hear it from the horse's mouth, if you want to go straight to the source, that's where I got my technique from. And also, I just want to show you where I'm at on day three. The only peeling that I'm seeing is right here in the corner. And I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's peeling here and a little peeling down here. I feel like I could have put on more layers. So next time, I'm definitely going to keep that in mind and yeah I was just expecting more peeling um it was my first time doing it so I like I did it very light took it really easy like I followed her directions for the most part like as, as much as I could and now I'm going to start the video and I hope you enjoy it or I hope it's like informative if you were thinking about doing your own TCA peel at home I hope it helps all right Tonight I'll be doing my TCA peel just around my eyes using 7% acid and I got that from PlatinumSkincare.com. I have um, another video on here, my review about Platinum Skincare and everything that I bought from their website in another video. So now I'm going to tell you everything that I gathered to do this whole process. I got my Vaseline. The Vaseline I'm going to use as a barrier around my eye so the acid doesn't seep into my eye. I got the saline solution just in case I have an accident and I need to um, wash my eye. And then I have this ice cold water that I got from um, the water dispenser in my kitchen. Then I have this washcloth so I can um, I'm gonna dip this in the cold water to kind of wipe around. So I have this cup, and this is the TCA acid, 7%, and it's 5 milliliter, it's 5 milliliter container, and I'm going to pour this into this cup. And I'm going to do that using this pipette. I have these little latex finger protector glove things. And I have the gauze which I'm not sure I'm going to use the gauze to apply it. So that's why I got the Q-tips. I have four Q-tips just in case I want to use these. And I got the Peel Prep Solution B. And this is formulated for, it's formulated for Jesner and TCA peels. I got this retinol 10. I'm going to put this on right after the peel and then I'm going to moisturize with this emu oil. And I wash my face with this simple micellar facial gel wash and, and it still felt kind of tacky. It still does feel kind of tacky around my eye, but I went over my eye with this the micellar cleansing water by Simple. So I have my handy dandy fan to have everything on this paper platter. Everything is here and organized and professional looking. I got this dry erase marker to kind of um, guide me where I want to go because I, I want to make sure that I don't overlap um, the area where I'm going to use the 13% and just make sure I get everything that I want to get. Open the Prep B solution. This is what the gauze is like. So let me tell you, this is much better because I've, I've used alcohol on my face before, a, a peel before, and this is much better than using straight alcohol because the alcohol, it gets all up in my my nose and like it's it's awful like this is this is way better the scent isn't doesn't have a strong odor and it's like it's not offensive at all so I would definitely recommend getting this to defat your skin rather than just using um, acetone or um, alcohol 
So we got that out of the way. And now, okay, so. Are you going to sleep? That one application pretty much took all the the TCA. I have a little bit left, but that pretty much took most of it. I can barely, barely feel the acid. Just barely. I forgot to put the Vaseline on. I can't believe I forgot to do that. Oh, and I gotta set a timer. Hey Siri, set a timer for five minutes. Okay. And the, the TCA acid, it wiped off my marker, which I, I figured it would. I'm gonna use that same piece of gauze, and I'm gonna dip just a little. I don't need as much because it's already wet with acid. I'm still gonna squeeze it out really, really good. So this is more awkward because I'm doing my left eye, so. I actually like using the guys. I didn't think I would like using it, but I do. Yeah, this this eye right here, I'm filling it up here. I think I put I put a little more acid on this one than this one. I see a little redness coming in on this one. You don't need to neutralize TCA acid. It'll just stop working after like five minutes. It just stops working. Oh yeah, I'm really I'm really filling it up here. Good one. It pretty much feels just like it does when I use glycolic acid, which I really hate. It's a really intense, tingly, itchy feeling. And it's I only feel it up here. I don't feel it down here, really. Like, my problem area is right in here. This is where I really wanted to peel. I really wanted to peel right off in here. Next time, I think I might just go in with the Q-tip so I can really get in there good I have a little swelling right here this swelling a little bit right there and there's some redness I'm not really feeling anything under here I think I'm gonna go under here just right here for a third swipe You can feel where it's had enough and you'll know, like, okay, I'm not going to do right there again. Like, you'll know by how it feels. It'll feel really intense and then it'll go away. But then you have to remember that, like, just because it went away, like, you have to remember, you know, I'm not going to do that spot again. I can feel the tingling, itching under here now. So I think, I think I'm good right there. I'm going to go under a third time right here. It could be because like that little, the little bags I have there, they produce a lot of oil. They're really oily in here, so that could be why. 
and I'm always dry up here. Timer's up, so I'm gonna go in here for my third application. Okay, now I'm filling it. I'm filling it in there. All right, so I guess I'm done. Wow, that was easy. I can't believe it's over. So now I am going to use this retinol 10. This stuff a very little bit goes a long way. You do not need much. And I'm going to use a little emu oil. turning red my skin is turning red it's turning red here and there's redness coming in here down here I don't know if the redness means I overdid it or or it means that like it's working and it's effective I don't know I just have to wait and see but anyway so that's the end I hope this was helpful and I will see you next time.